Good evening, Twitches. <laughs> Patty, Jordan, Ida. Oh, TT. God bless you all for being there. Stella, uh, Shelley, sorry, Shelley. It's small, honestly. Forgive me about. I get your names right. I have to look at the screen. Hey, 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 here we go. Yeah, what an interesting title. That is an interesting title. We'll read that in a minute. Scotty, Scotsky. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Now, this is on Twitch, by the way. It will be on YouTube. When you're watching it on YouTube, it was actually streamed live on Twitch. So do join us on Twitch if you can, because that is where we go if things go wrong on YouTube twitch you know and if youtube go down in any way you won't be able to find the titles so remember the disciple pete on twitch okay that's what i've got to say but twitch is what we're on but also if you're on twitch don't forget to join us on youtube okay because we're on a lot of social sites at the moment we're on instagram we're on twitter gosh we're on rumble this will be on Rumble when we're finished. We are on, oh, oh I can't, I, so many. I'm, I'm losing track. Um, Instagram, we've got uh, MailChimp. Don't forget to leave it on the MailChimp. Uh, join up to the MailChimp. The um, disciplecontact.gmail.com email if you want to send me news and interesting stuff that you want to see on screen. I just thank those that's doing it so much. So far, there's so much. I don't get a chance to thank you all, but you, you see most of it on the screen, including tonight. This has come, I don't know if this has come off my buttons or it's come off others, but it's a mixture of both. So thank you all for doing that. But the email is there for information on the YouTube end because more people watch on the YouTube end for now, but it's coming about. Don't forget to join us on Twitch twitch it okay but the channel is about the promotion of the gospel of our lord jesus christ and the advancement of the kingdom of father god in these end times we're looking at end times new book id you might like this one and from first skim through it's back to front every prophecy in the bible by john f wolverood 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 i haven't read it but i've pinned through it and it looks absolutely comprehensive it's a thick one isn't it it's a thick one. I've got a few things marked for that. Um, I haven't got a link for it. I can get anyone a link they, they want for it, but it is on Amazon. Uh, and I'll gladly share that. But uh, I will keep you posted on that particular book because I have another one with the complete works of, and it's very hard and it was very expensive. This looks easy with a lot of explanation. We need to know why. Do we need to know? I don't know, because Passover's on the 27th and everybody's saying we're going home then. <laughs> 27th to the 4th of April, okay? That looks interesting. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> I will. I'll get you a link for that, Ida. And then uh, we'll we'll work on that. I can. I, I purchased it on Amazon, so I'll be able to find it again. Um, it's It wasn't expensive. That was what I like. I think it was, I can't remember now. But it wasn't like £100. It was like, 20 quid or something less than that it was quite uh, reasonable but comprehensive comprehensive so far it's new <laughs> i love i love new new books new new bibles don't you guys i love them <laughs> but what i do love is if donald trump is going to do what is reported we are going to be on it we are going to be on it because it needs to happen the way the social media is locking everybody down, this needs to happen because I don't know Donald Trump and I don't know much about American politics. But what I do know, he stands for what he says. He stands for what he says. And I like that. So I will be on there. We'll tell me if anybody finds out what it is, I'll be, I'll be signing up to it. But President Trump set to launch his own social media platform by Eric Lendrum, uh, American Greatness. Okay, there's American Greatness website. According to a senior advisor, the president, Donald Trump, the former president, is set to launch his own social media website in the coming months. Oh, I can't wait. If we'll be able to say anything on there. As reported by USA Today, he won't be bought, you see. 
as I don't think Jeff Bezos will be bought. Um, just my opinion. Senior advisor Jason Miller revealed this development in the interview with Fox News saying that I don't think we're going to see the President Trump returning to social media probably in about two or three months. We're going to see President Trump return. Yeah, we're going, sorry, months here with his own platform. I wonder what he'll call that. Trumptious? <laughs> Trumptious media? Uh, Miller added that it's going to be completely redefined the game and everybody is going to be waiting to watch to see what President Trump does. But it will be his own platform. Oh, I hope it's a social media. I hope it's something like we can really, really use. <laughs> the idea of President Trump launching his own social media platform i could have set a website up you see it could be a website but that's not social media have been frequently suggested by supporters after the aftermath of his unprecedented ban from the most of the big tech giants early in january after the most peaceful protests after the mostly peaceful protests at the u.s capitol we'll not go into the details because this will be going on youtube but oh Yes, please. That would be refreshing, wouldn't it? I would feel more secure there. <laughs> and we can continue to hold the family together. The email and list, don't forget, guys, it's there. Just click on the email and list in the link in the description and a box will pop up. Just leave your name or a name and your email address and you're on the list. There's 1,030 on there now. So I'm going to be start using that. Uh, just to keep everybody together. That's because that's what it's about. Look, it's all happening. Look, we might not be here after Passover, but it's only a feast. I don't set dates. I can't because I, I don't know the dates. <laughs> I've seen so many come and gone. Isn't it great to do that on Twitch? But it will be on YouTube. Um, no offense to YouTube. But just in the scale of things under the American greatness. Now, I love America. I love you guys. Most of people who watch us are from the USA and I, I pray for you guys. I don't really want it to be the Mystery Babylon. I really don't. Mary! Mary, <laughs> Mary how you doing? <laughs> okay. I better get this in early before we've got a meeting, I think. But um, what have we got here? Now, this was a... This... I don't think it'll... This is not hidden news. I think this is mainstream now. But images from the um, Texas border facility now illegal immigrants packed like sardines. That's quite interesting there. You know, I'm just looking at that image. We've got another one. First, I thought that looked like body bags. Uh, there's not a head showing. But uh, I looked at another photograph further down, which I won't click to open. And they're actually sitting up and they must just pull the covers over their heads of a night time. To keep warm, I guess. Not very compromised, but just an update on the situation. Thousands of illegal immigrants are living in overcrowded conditions in Texas border facility and leaked photos and shockingly squalid situation have emerged online. It's just a sign of the times. Again, we can offer our prayer for these people. Prayer is powerful, guys. I've got a lot of notes on what we should be doing in these end times, which I'll do a separate video on, probably on YouTube or maybe here and then post it to YouTube. I don't know. The social media is going well. We're reaching people. We are reaching people um, all over the place now. We're, we're getting at the, the individual sites are growing in popularity. And uh, unfortunately, the new the, this new Twitch site, we can't, you can't put a comment in because we could pick up on comments who want to, of people who want to know the Lord, you know, because he is coming. He is coming. He's coming to get his bride. Do you want to be in that number as the song goes? Isn't it? I want to be in that number. That's what I want to be out of here. Now, we don't know. We don't know. But let's be encouraged. It is about encouragement because, you know, in Paul, as Paul speaks about encouraging one another. And that's what we got to do. But encouraging, it also speaks about discipline. Okay. But it... it which we don't want to do. But encourage one another. Why? To keep lamps lit. 
you know, remember, and I'm going to say this until, until he comes, that 50% of those watching didn't go. The lamp's lit. There was only five wise virgins. So if you're in church and watching this at some time on a rewind, just think about that. Come to the Lord now. We've got an interesting photo, um, film I want to watch about a guy outside a Catholic church, which I'll not do on this one, but I might do it later, guys, uh, after our meeting. Um, okay, busy boy, busy boy. I'm working very, 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 very hard to just keep videos going out about the Lord on the gospel every day if I can. So pray for me as well. It's quite taxing. We have a lot of work on a daily schedule. Thank everybody that has supported me and made this possible. Because when I had to work for uh, to pay the bills, I could only do one video a day. We're now on 12 different things a day. Okay, that is amazing. Praise the Lord. I don't know. It's not about popularity. You know, we had a good conversation. It's about being about his business, just doing the work. And I did not, I did not know what to do when I first put that very first video up oh, two and a half years ago, uh, three years ago. I didn't know what to do. I just felt obedient to do it. And I just want to say to all of you, it's just an obedient act. He will direct your steps. Share videos with the gospel on. Share them. That's a big, big job. I know you, you probably can't share a Twitch video. Well, I think you can, actually. I think if you go onto the video, there'll be a share facility. Share them on your social media. Anybody who's speaking the gospel. You know, because it's the people who share that make the video popular. If you make the video popular about the gospel, you're doing God's work. Really, 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 really. Share it everywhere. <laughs> it's not just for popularity. I know that if he came, you know, in the next few days and took the bride home, I know he's coming soon. So I'm not, it's not about popularity. It really isn't. It really isn't. Pray for your loved ones. But this one shows you where we're going and it really is. We all know about this now, but to the extent it's growing is horrendous. And I'll not speak too much about it. I'll just and give my opinion on it. It's down to them people. We're not to criticise. Jesus didn't judge. Judge not lest you be judged by the measure you judge. And too many people on, on social medias and YouTube are saying, no, 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 no. No, if you're a Christian, it's all in God's hands. The plan is final. No going back. No going back. We're on the train with tracks and going in one direction to judgments. Judgments, if you do not know, are in the last book of the Bible. Incidentally, it is in the last book. All the prophecies have come true to date. 360 plus prophecies to date, if not more. 54 since 1948, which was the biggest uh, significant prophecy on God's time clock. Israel became a nation in a day. Okay, so... All rushing in, rushing in. Never thought when I was young and I could... <laughs> Laura, I know you're on here somewhere. Laura, <laughs> I could even any everyone. Joe, Jehu, Laura, oh blimey. J-H-U-R-O, forgive me for not being able to pronounce your name. Download the app called Bottled. It's like a message in a bottle. I've heard about this, to be honest with you. Yeah, get the message out. Nobody, every, I'm just, I'm just here doing this, but you guys have got much more power to get the gospel out. Even if you criticised and poked, you've got much more power than I've got to get this out everywhere. And not just me, anybody who's speaking the gospel of salvation, everybody who's speaking the end times, do not forget to let them know that they've got a free out. It wasn't free, but it's free to us. Gift of God. That if we confess that Jesus is Lord and believe that he rose from the dead on the third day, you are saved. Romans 10, 9 and 10. And we plenty more scripture than that to back that up. But this one here, sorry, I'm getting off the track here. 
uh, anyone who think I like doing this I do <laughs> that's why I laugh because I don't mind going home Sports Illustrated touts transgender woman as magazine's first trans woman colour not knocking it at all it's expected to happen it's expected to happen don't forget we can't change this the latest swimsuit edition of Sports Illustrated featured a man who believes he is a woman and promoted him as the first trans woman coloured to appear in the magazine as reportedly by Birabart, Birabart or whoever. It's on the cards, isn't it? You don't need to say any more. If you are looking at this on the rewind or even in here now wondering what it's all about come to the Lord now come to the Lord now there's no God there are 3,000 known religions in the world they differ so much that it's as simple as this either one is right or they're all wrong they don't get on Christianity is the only one where God is seeking man all the rest is man seeking God. Wow. Think it through. God came for us. He loves us. 6,000 years of being patient. He could have destroyed us back at Adam. He could have totally, totally destroyed Noah. Got rid of it all then. But he's a kind and gracious God. Not in a way we can put him on a pedestal or on our mantelpiece and say we'll worship that. He's well beyond us. He created the universe and he's going to roll it up and start again. That's all in the Bible. In the Bible that's had all its prophecies come true, 100% accurate. The last bits in Revelation from five on are true. They are going to happen. Unlike all the other prophets that had failures in the prophecies. And I'll not mention who. Because I'm not here to jab another religion. Why? Because it's in God's plan. Could have Jesus changed the cross? No. He is God. He did it. Did it. At a perfect time. Which we'll never understand until we get home. Will we? <laughs> and made it simple. The Jews who we showed the video last night don't want him. Israel do not want their Messiah, the Messiah that came 2,000 years ago. They don't want him. I'm not saying all. There is a mess Messianic Jews who do and try to bring Christ's message in their Messiah, but they do not have the New Testament. They don't have it. And it's being buried all over Israel, so they find it. Because what happens when the rapture comes and tribulation starts, you can still come to the Lord. You can still confess with your mouth that Jesus Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead but you have to go through the tribulation or be killed so if you're watching this by any chance maybe it'll be on Donald Trump's site <laughs> I'm so refreshed to see Trumpy coming back with his own site where we can speak the truth <laughs> oh. so <laughs> That was a breath of fresh air, to be honest with you. But where can I send you? Now, everybody on Twitch knows Discord. It's a gamers channel. As indeed, uh, Discord no, is was developed for gamers. And we have a Discord. Um, let me just get the right page on here. Oh, we start on, an, on a different page. Fellowship Room. Okay, when you... Go to the link in this description as well. It'll be in. It's not in now. It'll be in at the end of. I have to edit it in afterwards. It's not on the live stream one. But when you click on the link that says the disciple server, which says Discord, um, you'll come. You should come into here. You'll be asked to download your own first, and then you'll come into here. If not, go back to the link and click on it, and you'll you will be directed through. Uh, to us where you'll be accepted in if you want to know the Lord and be discipled and in just plain good fellowship then this is the place to keep your lamps lit 
That's what I'm saying. Now, on the mobile, <laughs> I knew, I knew Ida would do that. <laughs> See what I mean? It's just good fellowship. Ida's on here. I, I had to be, I bet a few more come now. Oh, thank you so much. It is, it's fantastic. It's just a great place to keep your lamps there because we need it. Brothers and sisters, we need it. We know all the prophets have not found a date yet and I don't think it's right to occupy ourselves that way. Jordan, Jordan, we'll make this a Discord night. <laughs> just saying hi. Yeah, but, <laughs> but you love it. Now that's the fellowship we have in there amongst... The, I'll not read them out because we know them by now. The different fellowships, of, there are, te, uh, what have I got? Blimey. Ten, I will read them out. There are ten um, ministries in there. The Baptism Room, Grace Girl Victoria. Just type in if you want baptiz baptizing. She'll do it over the phone. Um, so you can be baptized, in the, especially in these lockdown times. You've got divine healing from Cal M. Um, you contact Cal M and she will pray over you or bring you to a room where they will. Healing through deliverance ministries. Mary, Laura, Christine, Ida, Jess, me and Cal are all in there. We'll work with you in there. There's quite a waiting list. Okay. <laughs> There's quite a waiting list. Uh, Bible studies from Mary, Jess and Tornell. God bless them. And be patient in the Bible rooms, come in with a humble heart. They're trying to get through a, stu a, a set study in a Bible study. So try not to go off track, you know, otherwise you'll be told off. Remember, for correction, the Bible says. <laughs> Brother Morley, serve a watcher, help scripture and breaking news. But he'll help you around the side and he'll ban you. <laughs> if you're bad, don't be bad. Just be humble. Ida Free Bible Room. Okay. Ida's will find you a Bible. We just found another one, which is, I think, is excellent. It's more of a pastor's thing, I think, but it's quite comprehensive. Log Logos, L-O-G-O-S. It's free, by the way. You can search for that. Ida's Berean Room, um, where we look for end times. That's a posting room where you can f uh, find stuff that Ida's been doing and other people have been working. Brother Frank in the Holistic Medicine Room. There's plenty in there, isn't there? Brother Frank, if you want holistic medicine, you want to get away from Big Pharma, he'll give you suggestions. He won't sell you anything. He'll just give you suggestions because that's what he does for a living. Um, author Michael Middleton, who is a book writer, 20 books in there. Uh, he's written now and lots of other things. He's posting in the author Michael Middleton room. A purchase of his books, the proceeds go to YWAM. Okay, all the proceeds go to YWAM. And, of course, communion with Jess, and I think others do communion. So it is a 24-7 global church, and the doors don't close. Do you remember them days when you come out of church? Or I did. You'd go into church. This is what it's like. And I've been in four or maybe five churches. I helped set another church up um, some time ago. <clears throat> but you come in, you say hello to each other, and then you never get to know many people. And then something happens there's a bit of an introduction some music worship um a sermon then some worship and then it wraps up with a bit of prayer and you go to the coffee table and then you go home and the doors are locked i could never stand that i want to be with god all the time i want to fill my life so much with the lord that there is no time for anything else that's why i keep busy that's why we should all be busy in the Word, busy with ourselves, busy on Discord. Because there's no room for anything else. <laughs> that is occupying the time. I'll do a sermon at sermon. I'll do a video on that. There are many sermons. They take me as long. But brothers and sisters, I'm going to leave you with that one and say may God bless you, keep you, make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. Till we get home. Maybe under a big picnic basket. God bless.